So let me talk a little bit, you know, about uh, your term paper project or what I'm calling the personalized, you know, learning exercise, you know, based on the term paper assignment. I think most of you have already selected uh, the term paper topics and um, which the, 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 the requirement was that, you know, you should take your career interest, you know, and connect it to analytical chemistry. And most of you have done that. Now, the term paper topic was supposed to have been posted by today. So if at all you haven't done that, you know, you've got until the midnight of the 2nd of October to do that. Remember, you know, the term paper topic, the theme is um, analytical devices for rapid detection of different things. If at all you're interested, you know, in environment as your career interest, it will be on environmental analytics. But are you interested to be a medical a doctor or pharmaceutical environment, then you can do clinical diagnostics. But are you interested in food, you can do food analytics, you know, and so forth, or agriculture analytics and so forth. So there should be, you know, in the par view, you know, of these things, okay? So maybe the question you're asking is what next? You know, what next is I gonna assign you one journal article published within the last two years and I gonna post that for you on the same discussion board responding, you know, sort of to the topic, you know, that you posted. So I gonna post, you know, my journal article that I assign you on the discussion board and I gonna do that by the 9th of October. Now, when I do that, you know, make sure you retrieve the full format of that article and you can do that either, you know, by just doing Google search using McEwan Wi-Fi of, of the top of the of the title, you know, on the general article that I assign you. Or you can just search the title, you know, using um, the McEwan library web of science link. So you just click on this link and you can paste um, the, 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 the title of the article that I assign you and you'll be able to retrieve the full format. After you do that, read that paper critically, the one that um, read it critically. And then after you do that, select an extra one to two articles that complement, you know, the assigned article. And you often can do that just by checking uh, the citations, you know, or the references, you know, for my article, okay? You, you know, you can do that. After you do that, you're going to write an abstract, what we are calling an extended summative abstract. And the summative abstract should include the following. It should include an abstract, a graphical abstract, and you can be creative and design your own graphical abstract. In fact, there will be an extra mark if you design your own graphical abstract. It's good you think and um, understand what a graphical abstract is, you know, so check that in the literature and if you can't get a clear explanation of the graphical abstract, you know, just shoot me an email. Now, the extended abstract should also contain, you know, a literature review, you, you know, a brief statement of results, you know, in the three papers, you know, that you reviewed, two to three papers that you reviewed, and conclusion, you know, and references, again, of the two to three papers, you know, that you reviewed. In total, you should have not more than two pages long for all that extended summative abstract. I'll be looking to see a draft, you know, by October the 23rd, okay? So I'm going to mark or correct for you a draft, you know, which is due by this time. And after I give you my feedback, you know, you can uh, correct it, you know, and submit the final term paper, you know, by the end of the semester on the 27th of November. Okay, so remember from that abstract again, and I think I talked a lot about this in the course outline, you're going to create, you know, a poster. Again, this is due, you know, much, much later on in December. So the critical thing for you is to start, you know, reading the article that I assign you and generating, you know, a draft paper that will comprise the article that I assign you and two others, you know, that you retrieve yourself. And so um, 
it's going to be interesting, you know, to see what uh, you come up with.